Recently, I needed to create a reusable image carousel for my iOS apps. So this is how I did it. So here we are. Here's the image carousel. This is displaying three images in turn without the interaction of the user. And we're just going to look at the code pretty much line by line. So the view controller, I've imported three URLs, which is from this poke API. The carousel's lazily loaded, so we can use those URLs. And we set up the hierarchy, components, and constraints on view dip load. So I'm loading the views programmatically, so you may not have this if you're using the storyboard, this load view. The hierarchy is just adding the carousel to the subview. Translate auto mask into constraints means that I'm going to take care of the auto layout, which I do in setup constraints, and I'm just making this particular um, sub view the size of the parent view, nothing special here. And that's all I have to do in the view controller. Within the carousel, we're going to call this carousel layout. So again, this is a lazy var. The collection view doesn't have a frame, so I'm going to set it in a similar fashion to uh, the view controller. The carousel layout I'll look at first, and it's reasonably basic. What's happening is it's a horizontal layout. I'm not using any section layout, section inserts, or special layout really here. We make our item the size of the collection view frame. So each item before it's displayed will be exactly the size of the collection view and then move off and the next one will be displayed and so on. And should invalidate layout, it's what happens on a new layout update. And in that case, we'll just take the new bound size. So nothing too exciting there either. In the carousel itself then, we're going to get past the URLs and we'll have a particularly particular selected index at a time. And it's the timer that will change the images. So we'll use this initializer to do that, which will take in the URLs. I haven't done anything particular with this initializer. Without any URLs, this particular carousel isn't going to do very much, but I'm not going to worry about that too much within this implementation. I'm happy if there aren't any images to display, it will just display a blank carousel. Um, setup view here, it sets up the collection view. I've decided not to let the user change the image that we're displaying, and you could choose to let them change it, but then you'd have to do something about the timer still changing the display while the user's touching it. So you'd have to think about that. So paging's enabled, so it's all, each image is centered on the screen and displays one image at a time. Here we're saying I'm going to take care of the auto layout. We add the collection view to the sub view and we register our cell. And I set the collection view to be the size of the parent view. And it's this schedule timer if needed, which is mildly interesting. Something will only happen if I have some URLs, so if I have some images to display, at least one in this case. If we've already set up a timer, it will invalidate, so cancel that timer. And we set up a timer, each three seconds it will run this block. And this block is taking the current index and incrementing it, and firing off this function. So it has to be a valid index. If not, it's run off the end of the images we have and returns back to zero. So if we get to the end of the images, it goes back to the first image within this carousel, which is the logic I want. If we're already at that index, don't do anything. If not, set the new index and scroll to the right item. And there's one last part here, which is invalidate the timer when we do de initialize. So if it, we're not on the stack, the timer won't keep firing. This part, which is the UI collection view data source and just really calculates the number of items like any collection view and sets up the image. And I happen to be using SD web image, 
which means that we're getting some nice caching and the loading of the images are asynchronous so we don't have any problems if you're using it in different types of views. The delegate, which we conform to, can be blank here because I'm not doing anything. If you want to click on an individual item, nothing will happen in this case, but we could implement that if we chose to. And this provides us our collection view, which, as we've seen, looks something like this. So the images every three seconds change, and if you get to the final image, then it goes back to the first one, and the user can't make any interaction. Well, that just about wraps it up for this project. Hope it's helped you out, and see you later.